Libra and welcome to your 2021. So this year uh, you have Jupiter and Saturn in your fourth house and so basically this year you're going to be working a lot regarding attaining your own well-being towards your you're going to be working on your own house or car those fixed asset types of things or towards making a home for yourself and even towards your mother or towards motherhood um, you're going to be actually working on getting resources out of your efforts that's going to be a, a focus there and um, then you're just by the way your gurus could be experiencing stress they might be a little bit stressed out okay and um, then your partner is going to be quite career driven um, and you're going to be putting efforts towards your physical health and you need to put i recommend that you put attention onto the soles of your feet when you're exercising and you should also take care of your digestive system and you're gonna you're actually like you know saturn is aspecting your sign and with with their 10th aspect so you're actually basically beginning an integral transformation okay it's um and you know what you become what you end up becoming and that'll be you know that'll be like two and a half years from now but it's a journey and you need to keep aware that what you end up becoming has to be what's best for your inner peace and um, that has to be number one so that has to be kept in mind okay so that that transformation is guided in that direction and you should definitely get into spirituality or like tantric like basically into spirituality it's it's a good thing it's a it will be very uh, good for you okay now at the beginning of the year you may want to make some brave moves um, towards um, the idea of rapid gains, okay? Um, you need to be cautious. I'm not saying not to do it, but you just need to be cautious and you need to weigh it with your fixed assets or with the potential for fixed assets, which are like house and car, probably house. So you need to weigh it um, and, and be cautious. And then um, from February 21st through April 13th, you, you, we all need to be aware of the, the fact that Mars and Rahu are coming together, uh, in this case in your eighth house in Taurus. So you just need to, like actually in this, in this situation for you, what I would tell you looking at everything that's happening of course, is that you should actually be careful, cautious with selecting a house or a car at this time. If you're going for a new house or a new car, you need to be cautious with your selection. And um, if you're deciding on that with your partner, then you need to actually really watch your partner's impulsiveness in that act of choosing and then from mid-march through mid-april um you can i would say you know really get into your health regimen at this time and really take that and you know get into it and make it great and enjoyable and so again that's mid-march through mid-april and then April 5th, Jupiter will move into Aquarius for the first time, not the last time. Um, this is going to be the beginning of a blessing, but it's not going to be really, it's not going to become like standardized yet, right? Because Jupiter is going to be moving back out, but it's the beginning of a blessing for you. And you may actually get to work on... Um, creative endeavors or on figuring out your decided long-term investment um, that your investment strategy or long-term investment strategy and uh, oh and also like um, by the way you can even start to see some gains here okay you may even start to see some financial gains here and then 
Through June 1st, your future planning with your partner is also blessed. So then in the summer months, um, a move is possible. In fact, you may even be moving to a foreign land. Um, you may be uh, you getting a new home, that new home or new car at this time, or anything that you've been wanting to get into deeper and into a deeper exploration on, um, that's kind of, that's gonna be unblocked. So you'll be able to access that. Then June and July, um, it's possible that you get some good work done on your career. And the last three months of the year is when like things start to go going really well. And in December, you need to be um, grounded in the spending of resources towards um, uh, towards like efforts that you make towards getting uh, fixed assets and towards your long-term goals. So you just need to be grounded in those, um, in any spending of resources and in your efforts. Um, so that's all, um, Libra, I'm wishing you a really happy, uh, prosperous 2021. You can come back to this video throughout the year to check in and see, um, how it can help you with what's going on in your life and, um, wishing you a great 2021.